Hi, this is John Campus, founder and CEO of Empus. Today I want to talk about the importance of using multi-factor authentication, also known as MFA or 2FA. The main purpose of MFA is to mitigate the risk of unauthorized access to one or more of your accounts. The average person has anywhere between 20 to 30 sites, mobile apps, and systems that they need a password for. It's impossible to memorize five different complex passwords, let alone 20. So you're probably like the 80 plus percent of people who will reuse a password on at least one other site. This is a bad practice because if one of those sites that you use is compromised, your credentials might be exposed and the risk of having your accounts hacked on other sites greatly increases. You might have considered the use of a password manager to create complex passwords, but that should still be used in combination with MFA. So back to MFA. MFA requires more than one method to authenticate you to a site or application. You will still need a username and password in combination with the MFA. MFA does not replace those. The username and password is something that you know, or possibly others know it as well, and the MFA is something that you have, let's just say your smartphone. The most common configurations of MFA is a push notification, a SMS message, a phone call, or a hardware device such as a UV key. So this is how it works. Assuming you have MFA enabled on a system, you attempt to log in. After you successfully enter the username and password, you will be challenged for MFA. Using one of the methods previously mentioned, let's say a push notification, you will check your phone and approve it if in fact it was you trying to log in. If it wasn't you, you would deny it. Once you approve, you will be logged into the application. If you had denied it, the login attempt would have failed. As you can imagine, this significantly improves the protection of your account. Yeah, I know this adds an extra step, and I often hear from customers that it's annoying and they want to disable it, but we live in a complex world and everything can't be easy especially when it comes to security and protecting your accounts. If you don't have MFA set up for your accounts that support it, I recommend that you first start with your email, especially if you're using a cloud provider such as Office 365 or G Suite, then banking, and then move on to social media and so on. The reason email is the most important for me is because if someone gains access to your email, they can pretty much reset all of your accounts and control them. One thing that might not be obvious is the damage that can be done to others if your accounts are compromised. Unauthorized access to your accounts can be used to impersonate you for illegal activity that can impact your friends, family, and business relationships. I hope you understand the importance of this, so please take the next 30 minutes to set up MFA where you can, and if you need help, speak with your IT folks. Thank you.